the kingdom of heaven. Suddenly I landed on a beautiful green grass different I've never seen it on the earth, the angel who was there in hell said, I'm going to show you the glory of God for the heaven is beautiful, I entered that place where I beheld the music of heaven whose melody was soft, there is no similar sound and no man can produce and create a sound of this celestial song that the angels and the saints of heaven were emitting, the multitude was all the time attending the throne and there were thousands of angels attending the big reverberation which was the glory of God, I could see his perfect shape though his face was like the sun, he is so beautiful like brilliant glazing turning into crystal, in heaven, the angels go back and forth in a great speed, when I got in heaven I was in such glory that I did not remember life on the earth anymore, we do not remember anything anymore, I did not remember that I was married, I forgot that I had a husband and children and a mother, I did not remember relatives, friends or colleagues, we have totally lost consciousness of earthly thing in the heavenly world, moreover, in the celestial region, we do not walk, the people float and fly in the paradise of God, in the celestial paradise, everything is all gold and crystal, heaven is like liquid gold, it is such pure gold that we do not have on earth, it is something tremendous, I've never seen anything like this, then we arrived before a magnificent building in this golden city, when the angel opened the gate I walked through that door, I saw the angel heading to a wall of gold and he pulled something like a box and he opened that little box and told me, here are your hairs, I remember in my professional life I had short hair because it was easier and quicker to go to work in television with short hair, it was easier to brush, the angel showed me my hair that I used to cut which were collected and transformed into gold, the angel collects women hair so that they will not go to waste, the recording angel, and then the angel took me from there, we arrived before another stupendous building in this celestial world where there was a very large movement of angels working and writing on rolls, the angel told me, here is the archive library of heaven where registration and recording take place, the angel told me, each saint on the earth have been assigned a recording angel whose duty is to write and record every action of the saint on the earth, as we are here gathered in the church there is an angel writing and recording everything I am talking about, all the action and deeds we do are recorded in celestial books by angels, there is an angel who keeps track of everything you do everything you say and think everything is registered, the angel went there in this archive hall and he pulled the golden book upon which were written all my action, he came with that golden book and he opened it, he said, everything is written, the angel told me when the gospel is preached whenever people come to Christ the Lord erases all their sins and throw everything there in the sea of oblivion, truly everything you did before your repentance is thrown in the sea of oblivion, it is from the moment we lift our hand and confess our sin that all of our sins since birth are erased and forgotten, we are thus newborn and new creation whose sins were thrown into oblivion never to be remembered again, it is when we are born again in the spirit that the Lord assigned the angel of archive and record, his duty is to write everything we do and say, everything is recorded for we are now a new creation, we are born anew, the recording angel will be writing every one of our action and deed throughout the day while we are awake the moment we lay down to sleep, this angel of archive and recording will ascend to heaven and the guardian angel will be protecting us in the night when we sleep, when we wake up again in the morning the angel of archive and recording would be writing everything we do and say and think, from that place, the angel took me somewhere else before another beautiful building which shines brightly in heaven, everything is very resplendent in God's paradise, there are no words to define and to describe the beauty that is the glory of God, we were now before the anointing building, I went into that place and inside were the saints of heaven together, the angel told me, here is the anointing room, in this beautiful place, angels were working and pouring a milky liquid on God's servants as they do different works of God, the angel said, look when people are used by the Spirit of God, when the saint are talking about Jesus to their neighbor, when you say to someone Jesus loves you, when you're leaving to evangelize, when a man is preaching the word, when the Spirit of God is healing, when you are operating in the Spirit, there will be an overflow of oil, praise the name of the Lord, then we left that celestial building and we arrived before another beautiful building, when we enter there was a movement of the chalices, actually, 
They were golden goblets and golden cups, I contemplated those very beautiful goblets, everything in heaven is very beautiful very perfect and I saw those empty chalices which were with a little liquid, others were already overflowing. The angels told me, here are the tears that I harvested from the prayers of the saints on earth, angels collect tear that fall from our eyes when we are in the presence of the Lord when he cry in the presence of the Father when we are seeking the Spirit of God when we are crying with our problems and our difficulties to the Lord, our tears are collected in these golden cups, when those tears begin to overflow the blessings will start to overflow, the petition will be delivered, praised be the name of the Lord, your tears do not stay on the earth, they do not stay on the ground, they are taken when you're washing your face after praying, there are times we feel that big rejoicing in the Holy Spirit, you will start to cry though you do not even know why. The tears will be coming down and your tears are being gathered, crowns of the saints, and from that place. The angel took me to another celestial building highly respondent with a crown of the saints were kept, our crowns are glorious and not like the crowns of kings of the earth, the more you win souls, the more adornment and precious stones your crown gets. When you rescue lives through the preaching of the gospel, precious stones and pebbles are added onto your crown, you have to do the work of God. The more you are committed the more precious stones are added on your crown, let the name of the Lord be praised. When we left this building I was contemplating movement of angels in this eternal and golden world where there is no night where I could hear the song of angel and melody everywhere. The song is everywhere in heaven. Praise the name of the Lord for heaven is something very beautiful. And there the angel took me towards the glory which was the throne of the Father, I suddenly contemplated that I was in front of the throne of God, I could not see God until then I did not know whether I was going to stay forever there in the celestial paradise enjoying the wonder of heaven, I contemplated the throne but I could not see the face of God because of the glory which very strong in my eyes. To the side of the throne were thousands of angels, seraphim cherubim and happy saints of heaven praising God, they were smaller angels and big angels, the angels had harp and trumpet on their mouths, they were singing with soft sound something very beautiful, it was perfect tuning, praise the Lord's name, I beheld before the throne of the Father a beautiful table where we are going to seat with the Lord Jesus Christ, this table has no feet, it had no end and was like floating. It was ornamented beautifully, everything is beautiful and wonderful in the celestial world, on the chairs prepared for the saints, I saw our name engraved on stones which seem like round pebbles where are our names recorded, my name on earth is France Lena. however in the eternal kingdom of heaven I have a new name engraved on for the chair which is mine for I have a new identity in the ages to come which is different from my earthly identity which you received when you were begotten in the womb of your mother. When we were born again we had received a new identity in the kingdom of heaven and we have a new name, later the Lord showed me in hell, the liberal church in hell. The angel took me to another place and we opened the door, I looked the angel said, here is the church that has not yet rise, the liberal and materialist church that will rise.